Welcome to American Small Business Institute. I'm again here with Mr. Stephen Simple. And uh, today, he wanted to talk about uh, repetition in marketing. And this is coming from a digital first perspective, right? But I'm going to warn you, he's saying things. <laughs> Scary things for digital only people. <laughs> so what were you talking about? Here? Well, one, one of the challenges that we have is, is you know, people will look at, um, they'll be looking at a campaign and then they'll see, oh good, oh look, our website is doing so much better. It's because of our website. It's because of the changes we made to our website. Right. And it may have nothing to do with that. It may have to do with all of the other things that are going on. Like somebody comes here and they take magical worlds. Right. One of the first things they think to learn is the power of repetition. Right. And that through repetition is one of the ways in which we move things from short-term memory into long-term memory, right? Right. So repetition is important. But that also means all of the other things that somebody sees before they come to your website becomes important. Right. And it may actually be a bunch of those other things or all these things in combination that's actually what's working, not that, wow, we have all of a sudden got this awesome website. Right. So does that mean that you need to be everywhere all the time to increase repetition? Not necessarily. Um, so let, let, let me give you an example. So here's a direct mail campaign. Mm -hmm. So uh, Canada Post, I, I'm Canadian. That's our national postal service. It's okay. Yeah, I know. You'll, you'll forgive me at some <laughs> point. So, I'm, so our national postal service, uh, in conjunction with one of the banks, ran a test. They, they created this 12-piece mailing. Right. And they mailed it out. Mailed it one, mailed it two, Like a 12-pager? No, no, it was 12 separate pieces. So they okay. mailed one, and then they oh. mailed you another one a couple weeks later, okay. another one a couple weeks later, 12 pieces. And then they looked at what was the most effective one. The most effective one was the third one. So you can sit there and say, oh, well, then this is the message that works best, right? Let's redesign all the things to match the third one. Right. Well, what they did was they said, well, okay, let's do this again, but we're going to shuffle the order. And guess which one was the most effective one? Uh, the third one, yeah. which was now a different one than it was last time. And then they did it again, and what was the most effective one? The third one. So it turns out we don't need four through 12. <laughs> not, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. But, but the point is, is that if you think about, so if I add, if, I, if, I'm, running, if I'm running AdWords in a right. website, and I add a radio campaign, and I get a lift to my website, was it the website, or is it fact that now... I'm hitting them again through another media, through another right. means, through the repetition of, 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 of radio. Yeah, that's true, because I, I remember, um, so, you know, on Instagram, you now have inserted advertising as you're right. flying through, right? And uh, every once in a while, I'll see something, I'll go, oh, that looks kind of cool, but on principle, I'm just not going to click on it. <laughs> just, right. nah, you know. And then later, someone will tell me about this same business. They're like, oh, have you heard about this thing? And they make these shoes, and they're really cool. And I'm like, where did I... Where did I hear about that? Ah, oh, it was in my Instagram feed. And then I'll right. go back scrolling through my Instagram feed trying to find the ad for those shoes so I can click on it from there because I can't remember the name from either of them. Right. But I know I'll recognize it when I see the picture. Right. Oh, yeah. But well, if someone reading that is going to be like, oh, our Instagram ad was the most successful what, of our campaigns. Was the part that drove it, but yeah. it isn't. It's all these other things that go on. Or, or you know, this is one of the reasons why remarketing works well. Right. See, why does remarketing work well? Because the person comes to my website once, and what do I do is I hit them with some repetition right. and get them, you know, remembering me. And, you know, so all of these... So the problem is, the challenge with all these things, especially when you factor in repetition mm -hmm. as part of the key, is it can be very hard to detangle all of these pieces because the real answer is, why why'd the person remember you? Yeah. Probably all of the above. All of the, uh, yeah. Which one of these eight things worked? The answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> Often it is. Right. Thank Often you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you guys next week.